Okay, so whenever you enter, like let's say you enter in low code zone, look at the amount of gigs there is. 151,576. There are so many gigs. The competition will be extremely high. So always choose a gig where there is not a lot of competition. So I showed you Redbubble. So Redbubble doesn't have that much competition as you can see. So let's just check. Okay, so he will upload two awesome designs and 20 designs for $50. So Redbubble doesn't have that much. So how do you find uh, basically a less competition niche? So niche selection, just let's go back to the part of niche selection. So in niche selection, you basically go to sub niches. So you go with sub niches. Sub niches. Okay. So how do you create a sub niche? So let's go on logo. Let's go for not really logo design. Just you can search for sub niches like this. It's, it is showing it right here. So let me show you one more thing, one more time. You search for any niche, let's say print on demand. Print on demand, okay. So you will enter. We'll find something, it's loading. So in sub niches, this is how you do that. Okay, uh, you will search for a basic keyword. And then wait for your recommendations. So it's loading for some reason it's kind of slow. Okay, let's see. Okay, so in print on demand, let's see what kind of gigs they got and how many gigs there are 14,000. So there are many. So look at this. So once you press a space, once you write the main keyword, just press space. So and don't press enter. So it will start to show you all these sub niches. So what you can do is you can use any of these. Now print on demand is fairly saturated. But let's say uh, one second, let's see. We can go with Etsy. Let's see. So enter, you search your keyword. Etsy is this online store where you can basically sell products and stuff. If you don't know, you can do your Google there. And it's a very famous store. So in Etsy, you can see 4,906. The more gigs there are, the harder it's going to be to rank. Now, they like, and once you're done, you just click there and look at this. Etsy promotion, Etsy traffic, Etsy SEO, set up an Etsy shop, Etsy banner, Etsy listing. All these are keywords. All these, you can create your gig in any of these keywords. So this is, this is the basic concept here for searching keyword. So for this particular chapter one, we have learned niche selection. So how do you select the niche? Because where you know something about these things, like let's say if you know about, uh, let's say PHP programming, okay, PHP or Python. So these are programming languages. You know some things, go in that. Let's say you know about Etsy. So I'm going to talk about Etsy itself. If you know about print on demand, if you know about online selling, go with Etsy. It's a niche. It's a sub niche actually. So then you go there and then you look at the recommendations. You create a sub niche with that. You create a gig in that sub niche and uh, then you basically sub niches you have select and wait for the recommendations. Okay, so recommendations and uh, then what do you do? Keyword research. Keyword research, how do you do keyword research? You can use Fiverr Analytics or you can use Fiverr itself, both have free. So as you can, you, this is keyword research. Okay, and then you create a gig. And then what you do is you look at the top red seller. Let's say you go here. So you search for best selling. Just loading. Okay. So you're going to go with best selling. And in best selling, let's look at this. So best selling 92, 74, 98. So this person is a level one seller. Now, seller's ranking is decided by the factor 
not just by that particular niche it by all your niches so it will benefit you all over so let's see okay so i will deliver 3k t-shirt design print on demand red bubble and all these things okay 3k 65k so the gig is really simple and this one is actually ranking so let's see let's check out his particular niche okay i will send you a bulk awesome t-shirt design random niche retro vintage designs are ready to be uploaded to a red bubble amazon merch high quality these that and this and that so these are the packages include all these designs so it will be in eps psd if you know something about photoshop you know what these things means so let's see ireland he's from ireland and uh, april 2013 now one more thing that i want to mention is your account age matters when it comes to ranking niches and there are a couple of things that matter so let just let me just write it down so factors for ranking niche okay niches okay so for ranking niches the very first thing is your account age second is your gig competition gig keyword or gig competition gig competition third is third is basically if you have any organic sales if you have any organic sales fourth is your idea has to be there that okay so fourth is reviews reviews so if your reviews are good of course your your gig is going to rank well so these are the little things so what i what i will learn today niche selection start with the proper niche selection go with sub niches and focus on sub niches focus on sub niches okay sub niches sub niches technique is you search for the basic keyword and then wait for the recommendations do your keyword research very you know keyword research in a, this is the most important thing because if you go with high competition niches low competition high demand is like your goal but it is it is easier said than done so high demand oh, oh god what happened demand okay high demand so this it's easier said than done is kind of difficult to find these kinds of niches but you you can search for them if you if you really give time you can search for them so okay so title title is very important i'm going to give you a good example of a great title okay so let's just search for okay we have seen one of the good ones okay uh, relevance okay so this was a great example of a of a title okay so this is a great example this 100 so you will get a good great ctr so it is kind of clickbaity but it is a great example if you want to go with something like this okay so this is a great example of a title kind of clickbaity but you will get ctr now if you have reviews now let's say for ranking niches these are the things but then for purchases for 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 purchases you need reviews okay so we will discuss how to get reviews passed in our next lessons and it will basically 
help you so much. Now I'm going to show you both methods, fast method and a little bit slow organic method. You can use both and you should use both. So we will discuss them in future. I mean in next two after maybe two or three videos we will start discussing that. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. So today's homework is basically go create a niche. Okay, so let's uh, create a gig. Sorry, go create a gig. And uh, what do you do? So where is it? Okay, hold on. What page I'm looking for? I am looking for. Okay, so you go for this. You create a gig. You take a click clickbaity title. Not necessarily clickbaity, a good title. And then change it according to your niche. Take the reference from this. I will set up 100 T. So I'll set up. Just say that people will be like, okay, it's going to be worth for money. Eh? If they click, they, can, they should at least check out. Okay. And create a good profile with that. Now next is choose your category in a niche where you know something about choose your category with an idea that like I let's say you know something about writing. If you don't know anything about writing for me, writing is my, you know, not necessarily a strong point. So I'm going to stay away from this. I'm going to go with uh, music and audio. I know about audio production and all those things. So I'm going to go with that. Now subcategory, subcategory, choose your subcategory. If you don't have proper things to do voiceover, don't go with voiceover. Just choose it if you know something about it. And then it comes to tags. Tags, you can always find tags here. By understanding. No, no, not here. Okay. You can always find tags here. From here. Okay. So you just click here and all these are basically tags. If your niche is in there, if your gig is in the same niche, you can always go with tags from here. Okay. Next is... Uh, where is it? Where, where is our page? Okay, let's just let it just here. So you got the tags. Next, you save and continue this, and uh, then there is price and description. Description. How do you create a great description? Create a good description like this. This is this is an this is an okay description. This is a better description. This is like easy to read, fast, and. Uh, Always have some gap. I will recommend you to have some press enter there and have some gap between the lines so people can read it clearly. And uh, this is not a good description of the niche. So let's check out here. So th this looks okay. At least tell people what they are going to get clearly. Like they should not have any doubts because that will, you know, cause some refund or some, some kind of problem in the future. You don't want that. So customers should know what they are going to get and always write in the, in the description here contact before ordering so what will happen is if let's say your gig is kind of complicated just contact before ordering and uh, that will will have way, way better customer experience okay so then there will be description you'll be done with description requirements so you will know your requirement gallery gallery always use great quality images like let's just talk about images this is a great image you can use canva to create these images if you don't know canva let me just canva.com let me just show you okay where is our page okay so basically you can use this website it's very easy to use you can search for the tutorials or i will create a tutorial for you guys if you want me to and i will show you how to create a good gig page and uh, let's just go so you can create you should create a great page okay look at this these pages are nice these pages, these logos are nice. So always create a page according to the niche, niche that you are in and uh, that will help you to get some more sales. And uh, more importantly, it will make your page looks way, way better. So, okay, where is the next one? So three year experience, like look at, put these things there. Three year experience, five year experience. If you have experience then, if you don't have any experience, just write down how many gigs you have completed and it will look good too. And these, this is basically proof of sales and all these things. Whatever you can, you can present to make people basically, you know, basically trustworthy. So if you are more trustworthy, then you people are gonna buy more from you. What is this? You don't put these kinds of images. There is an image there, but it's all white. So I think he hasn't seen the whole thing or whatever the case is. But okay, so uh, okay, this is all there is to it. I think for this class. So, so I'm going to give you some homework and I hope you all will complete it and subscribe and like so you can get some notifications for the next videos. Press the bell button. 
let's just uh, review the whole class once again. Niche selection, sub niches, go with sub niches, keyword, low competition, high demand. Try to find it. If you find a low competition, just create a gig there. Start with that. And then uh, title has to be a little bit clickbaity. Little bit clickbaity. Don't go with crazy clickbait, but little bit clickbaity. Click. Wait. Little clickbait. <laughs> so at least. It's like bit. Next is ranking niches. Account age matters. So when you create an account, then just leave your niche there. If it's even if it's not getting any sales, just leave your gig there in that niche, and it will start ranking eventually. Or at least if you have some sales, if you have zero sales, then start to get. You can get some sales. Let's just talk about sales a little bit before I leave. So at least you can understand how it works. So to get sales, you can use different things like, for example, giving them discounts or something. Now, these are white hat methods. These are simple white hat methods, simple organic method, not necessarily white hat or anything like that. It's just organic methods. So let me show you a method that I use. Basically, what I do is I contact my friends. So I'm not going to show you that because I call my friends and I tell them, like, I have created this gig and you just buy it and I will pay you. Or I will buy your gig if they are in something like this industry. There are ways to that. Now, do Fiverr allow these things or not? Fiverr doesn't have any problem as long as you are providing good service. Because at the end of the day, Fiverr is a platform where if you sell, Fiverr will make money too. Fiverr have issues with people who don't provide good service. And uh, organic, some sales is necessary to rank. Like for example, if you have zero sales. Now, there, here is a suggested too. One more thing I would like to talk to you. If you want some tags, you can find some tags here too. Let's say if you search for Redbubble, it will give you suggested. Just copy and paste it in a tags. Okay, so do that. And there is one more way where you can get some reviews. There are review exchange places where you can go. If you want to do that, you can do that. I use one more technique, which I will share in the next class. And this class, I am basically planning this to have this Fiverr class for in three parts. And uh, yeah, in three parts, I hope you all will get to the level where you can make some revenue with uh, Fiverr and uh, at least uh, have some stable income with this. So that's all for this one. And uh, I hope you have learned something. And once again, do everything here as stated here. And uh, yeah, do your homework guys, because at the end of the day, you have to do the work. Don't just watch the tutorial for the sake of watching it. Get a gig, select the title, Select the, so go into the sub niche, write a great description, write a clickbait title, get some tag, copy the tags from, copy the tags from here. Whatever you your gig is, whatever your gig is, whatever it is, just search for the keyword, copy the suggested keyword, paste it there, and then get some organic sales, maybe through a friend, or you can do one more thing. There are other ways where you can just go for five review exchange places where you can get four or five reviews at least get some traction and uh, yeah subscribe like the video press the bell icon and uh, we will meet later and uh, that's it the next class so thank you for watching thank you